Alright, so let's go ahead and recap. Uh, for people who just joined us on Twitch, as well as from the last part. So, we built a bomb. We had to fight a giant frog. ALV, man, everyone's joining. So we fought the giant frog, we made the bomb, we busted through the door, we helped out Kazuma, met him, we met this guy named Booster as well, an old guy who decided to give a southern accent to. Uh, the doctor is apparently snatching up Miga and using them. Uh, we were gonna l escort them back to the teleporter to take them to Mimiga Village, but they ended up using a booster. And uh, they kind of ditched me. So I'm alone, but luckily I'm used to spending my, uh, my afternoons alone, and my evenings, and my mornings. I'm used to being alone, so this isn't the worst. My aim, though, that's what's really getting me. Sad. Yeah. Yeah, you get used to it. Oh shit, that reminds me. I gotta swap over to, uh... I apologize for everyone. But, uh, we have the, uh... Our nice little cave story properties. Um, I swapped this... I snagged this... I want this lovely one. I snatched this from a charity stream, which we're, I'm hoping to do so, one uh, somewhat soon, by the way. The only But yeah, so um, I snatched that from a charity stream. For those of you who aren't watching on YouTube, it is a little uh, death counter. Count how many times I've died. We've only died twice so far, which isn't too bad. So we're just killing small animals. A little sociopathic, but... What are you gonna do? So we'll do this, clear the way a bit. That. Breach ALV. Guys, over beautiful. Ooh, there's our ship. That bike Kazumo's riding looks like it has been in better days. Is it? It had. It has had better days. Excuse me. I wonder if this guy saw anything. Oh uh, no. Same shit. Well, let's head on into the teleporter. Let's teleport to author's house. <sighs> We're weapons of death? <sighs> yes. The doctor plans to use the red flowers to have all of you attack the humans. Now why would he do such an awful thing? The doctor is like a devil. Will he force Taroko to... He's supposed to be at New York. Will he force Taroko to eat those red flowers? The doctor is still searching for the red flower. It's good if he hasn't found the location yet. But if... If he finds the flowers, Taroko will be... 
she'll be filled with rage and turn into a weapon of death. I won't let that happen. This looks like a conscience plunky out a baby, because humans are literally killing this Ouch. Are you okay? Yes. But I, I really thought that we weren't going to make it. <sighs> Kazuma! Professor Booster! Oh! How have you been? Surviving. Uh, and that Mamiga is... Uh, his name is King. He's the leader of this village and also a friend of mine. Men Mamiga used to live here in Mamiga Village. But most of them were taken away to the doctor. King's friends were also... Oh, hey, everyone. Good work. The bike is a complete wreck, but somehow we made it. The doctor's scheme is moving along as planned. We need to hurry and do something about it. Welcome back. It seems like I owe you yet another one. With Kazuma here, I'm sure we'll be able to handle the password for that egg. Professor Booster, can we bring him along? Hmm. Professor? Huh? Sue? Our escape must be put on hold for now. The doctors found the location of the red flowers. <sighs> huh? As of yet, he doesn't have his hands on them. But it's only a matter of time before he does. Their location is in Sand Zone. I've heard that the red flowers are there. Sand Zone. So if we go there, will we find the doctor? <clears throat> I fear that it's the doctor's minions that will presumably go. We must eradicate the red flowers before they get their hands on them. However, Sand Zone is a very dangerous place. If we were to go, whether or not we can make it back alive isn't... Are you giving up then? Actually, no. We have just the right person here with us now. Oh, fuck. He's talking about me, isn't he? You fuck. God damn it. I, I don't do well in heat. I don't want to go to a Sand Zone. What is he? Well, he is an armed recon robot that was dispatched to this island ten years ago. A robot? I had heard that they were all destroyed after the war. However, I, I don't know the exact details. Perhaps one of them... Professor, I've connected us to the Sand Zone teleport. You are the most ideal among us. Here to search the island. Don't make an Among Us joke. Please, help us. Shit. <laughs> it's Among Us. Doctor's doing the world a favor. Maybe! Sand Zone, huh? I guess so. Well. You can travel to Sand Zone with this teleporter. Search for the red flowers and burn them all. If there are no more red flowers, we can hopefully avoid the war. Well, that's a pretty heavy responsibility, you think? Zoom, what do you think? You are the one from ten years ago, aren't you? I didn't realize it at all until just now. You are indeed well made. Thank you? 
Let's head over to the village, see, um... I guess Jack? Let's talk to this guy, too. Mm. Huh? Arthur's house sounds quite lively. Is there a party going on there? Let's see if Jack has anything to say. Taroko's old brother, Arthur, fought a red ogre. This island's terrible ogre. The thing would eat Mamiga after Mamiga. This really has nothing to do with the doctor, but... The ogre has lived on this island since the old days. Arthur sent that evil beast away from our village, permanently. It was so brave of him to put himself in harm's way for the sake of the island. I'll never forget it. Though Arthur was killed by the Doctor, he is still a real hero to us, Mamika. It's good to know. Alright, I'm trying to think of, um... Does this guy have any... Does the uh, Fisher guy have anything to say? Mm, no. It was worth a shot to check out. Alright, well, I guess without further ado, let's go to Sand Zone. Connected to Sand Zone. Let's teleport. Teleport to Sand Zone? I guess so. Holy shit, this music! Let's check. Mm. This music fucking slaps, my god. I remember, uh, I fell over his April Fool's joke a long time ago that said there was a fourth ending, which if you shoot this brick, there's gonna be a secret path that leads you to... something. I forget exactly. It was basically an elaborate April Fool's joke for a mod. What's that? Huh? Okay then. Let's not head over here quite yet. I know there's something over here. Is that a bar? Thank god I could use a drink. Drink that I don't do well with sand. You could say I hate it. I mean it's rough. And irritating and it gets fucking everywhere. Oh god, the floor is made of fucking sand. God damn it. Trying to figure out what voice I'm gonna do for this next character. <sighs> I read, I've already done a southern one. I can't do a southern one. Ah! I know which voice you could do. What are you thinking? <laughs> God damn it! I don't want to do a funny spear voice for this one. <laughs> That one's for the doctor, god damn it. Hey! Look, a visitor! After such a long time. I know what you want to do. Uh, you're gonna have... I, I don't know what I want to do. You're gonna have to fill me in. Other than get out of the sand zone. <laughs> but you better wake up! The Mimiga aren't the enemy! They're totally harmless! I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you. Now that's a bit too obnoxious. 
I'm on the Mega side, and I'm not gonna lose to you. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, she has a- they have a- she has a gun. <laughs> God damn. Ah! Oh god, I'm I'm killing the child. Ah, <laughs> uh, kill the child. Did not make. I did not think I'd be making this many Star Wars pre prequel jokes, but I'm killing younglings. I fucking ate sand. Ah. Uh. God, no, 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 no. Got me. We've been defeated. Do you plan on disposing of the Mimiga? Not right now, no. Oh! Are you on the Mimiga side too? I, I, I know, it's, it's not their fault! I'm Curly Brace. I've been with these little ones since... Well, before I can remember. I don't recall anything before that. Apparently it's so-called memory loss. I may have been a mega killer, just... Like the other robots. Like the other robots, wait. Oh! Your Polar Star, it's thrashed pretty badly. You want to trade it for my ma machine gun? You know what? I'm good. There are three opportunities you have throughout the game to swap your Polar Star for a better weapon. This is the first one. I'm not going to take this one. I'm good. Oh, yeah? Well, you can come back anytime if you end up changing your mind or something. We have a sandstone residence. Yeah! I want to eat some tasty fish. Nya! You must remove the curse to move the sunstones. Whatever that means. Be careful with those sand crocs. They'll bite suddenly if you dart or walk directly on the sand. And it'll take a big chunk out of you. And I'm walking on the sand right now. What the fuck are you talking about? Are you looking for red flowers? The old lady named Jenka might know something about them. Oh yeah, one thing. If you go to her house, you should take the dog next to the bed. Look in the next room. The dog. Oh shit, there's a dog. If you want to save? Yeah, I'll save up. Ah! Do you want to bring him up? Fuck it, we're taking the dog. And, um, if I'm not mistaken, there's, um, there's a little Easter egg. Got a... There's a... It's... It... Where, where is it? Okay. Yeah, I think with that we should probably leave.